There have been a lot of different Batman figures of a lot of different suits since the original Batman theme in 2006. And in this video, I'm going to be ranking every LEGO Batman minifigure. Numbers 73 through 71 is Mighty Micro's Batman from three different sets as there are three different versions of them. They are all taking the last spot as I dislike them all. Mighty Micros always ends up last on my list because like I said before, I don't like the goofy designs with the short legs and I always prefer regular figures. Number 70 is Mermaid Batman from the Lego Batman movie Collectible Minifigures Series 2 in 2018. The Lego Batman movie had some ridiculous Batman figures and I'm not the biggest fan of some of them, but this one is my least favorite. The mermaid tail with the shells on his chest just doesn't work for me and it's not my favorite idea they've done, but it's still kind of a fun figure. Number 69 is Junior's Batman from a few sets in 2014 and 2016. I think this color scheme really works for Junior's and that lighter tone, but it's just not one I prefer for Batman. Blue Batman suits aren't my favorite anyways, and for blue suits in general, I prefer a darker blue. Number 68 is Easter Bunny Batman from the Lego Batman movie minifigure collection in 2017. This is a fun seasonal variant. I like that blue color for this and Batman's unamused face print which is funny. It's an alright figure but doesn't feel that Batman-y to me and doesn't stand out much with the rest of the silly Batman suits. Number 67 is 1989 Batman from two sets in 2023. I feel like this is a big downgrade of the original 1989 Batman figure from 2019. I don't love the new cowl piece, especially on this suit, and the torso print doesn't look completely right to me. It's fine for a basic Batman figure, but it's still one of my least favorites. Number 66 is Tears of Batman from the Disco Batman Tears of Batman Polybag in 2017. This is another fun and colorful variant that would match well with Joker being a clown outfit. I like it, but don't love the design and there's nothing too interesting about it to me. Number 65 is Fairy Batman from the Lego Batman Movie Collectible Minifigure Series 1 in 2017. This might be the most ridiculous Batman suit with the pink design, the fairy wings, and tutu. Which like I said before, I don't like the silly designs too much. Still, it is a well detailed figure with the dual molded arms and legs. Number 64 is Blue Suit Batman from a few sets in 2012. This is a regular suit that's perfectly fine. It's just a bit basic and I don't prefer the blue and gray color scheme. I much prefer black and gray suits instead. This version did have a variant with the wings, which was nice though. Number 63 is New 52 Batman that was in a bunch of sets throughout 2015 and 2016, and served as the main LEGO Batman for those years and for LEGO Batman 3. It's based on the New 52 comics and I like the gray design, and that it was the first figure to use the shorter ears cowl, but I feel this figure was overused and became a bit boring. It did have some variants though, like a cool underwater variant with a different head, one for dimensions, and one with dual molded legs which usually makes a figure better. Number 62 is Reggae Batman from the Bad Space Shuttle in 2018. This is the suit that Robin gets his outfit from in the movie, but because of that it doesn't feel much like a Batman suit to me with that headpiece and the obvious Robin design. Also because it's on display, the figure has white arms so it doesn't work well on a regular Batman figure. It's still a cool design though and nice that we got the actual figure for it in a set. Number 61 is Swimsuit Batman from the Lego Batman Movie Collectible Minifigure Series 2 in 2018. This is a good figure with some nice parts to it like the goggles on the cowl, the shirtless print, and the speedo. It's just not a figure I prefer. Number 60 is Tiger Tuxedo Batman from the Batman Cave Pod Polybag in 2017. This one is just boring to me. The tiger design for the tux is kind of neat, but for Batman it just isn't that interesting and there are other tuxedo designs for him that I prefer. Number 59 is Dark Knight Batman from Comic Con 2011. This is a pretty expensive figure to get, being very exclusive, but I feel it's not that special since we've gotten many figures based on the Dark Knight suit. So it's a very weak Comic Con figure, and my least favorite of the Dark Knight Batman figures with the weird light printing on the chest. I think it's still an okay figure, it's just not worth the price it costs to get nowadays with there being way better options. Number 58 is the Scoobat suit from Batcave Break In in 2017. I like suit variants that actually have more of a purpose like this one more than the silly suits, but I don't love the blue and orange color scheme for this and there's a Batman scuba suit that I very much prefer. Number 57 is Batman of Xur and R from Comic Con 2014. Now I don't know much about the story this figure was based on, and this was a pretty unique figure and a great idea for an exclusive, but the suit is very wacky and colorful for my taste even though it may be accurate, especially with all the other wacky suits that make this less unique, I just prefer other figures more. Number 56 is Disco Batman from the Joker Manor in 2017. The white and gold look is sweet, especially with that cape, and it's nice with the complete set of the other Disco figures, but I think Batman is the worst of those Disco figures, and he also has similar suits that I like more. 
Number 55 is the Batpack Batsuit from Batcave Break-In in 2017. This is one of those similar suits, but the gold is a nice difference. I still don't really care for these types of Batman figures. They aren't really that interesting to me, but it is kind of cool, and I like it a little more than the last one. Number 54 is Roller Disco Batman from the Disco Batman Tears of Batman Polybag in 2017. This is another similar suit. I like this one more because it has more contrast with it being white and purple. And the gold roller skates are a nice addition. It's my favorite design of the three, even though I don't care for these types of bat suits. Number 53 is Black Suit Batman from a bunch of sets with some variations over the years being one of the more common Batman figures since 2012. This is a very standard figure and kind of generic, but you can't hate it. It's a quintessential Batman figure. It's just this low because it's not that exciting, but it doesn't need to be. Number 52 is the Lego Batman Movie Batman appearing in most Lego Batman movie sets from 2017 to 2018. It's a very similar suit to the last one, but I like the extra details with the expressive eyes and utility belt piece. It also had many variations with different head prints and even a version from the first Lego movie that I'm putting into this same category. Number 51 is Begins Batman from the Tumblr in 2014. And it's a fine figure, but it's not that special. I think the printing looks too bright and it has gotten another figure more recently that I like better. Number 50 is Clan of the Cave Batman from the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigures series 1 in 2017. I think the idea is pretty neat being a caveman Batman, and the details look nice with the rugged look and the rock bat logo. It's just not one of my favorite Batman ideas. Number 49 is Bachelor Batman from the Lego Movie 2 Queen Whatever is So Not Evil Space Palace in 2019. This one is stylish with the sparkly design, but we've seen similar Batman figures and it's not my favorite type of Batman figure. Also, without a cape, it looks incomplete. Number 48 is Vacation Batman from the Lego Batman Movie Collectible Minifigure Series 1 in 2017. This is very similar to Swimsuit Batman, but I like this one more because I like the shirt design and the shorts. Plus, this comes with a cute bat duck floaty. Number 47 is Wiz Bat from the Lego Batman movie minifigure collection in 2017. This is another cool idea and a nice design with the robes and a different cape for him. It's just another wacky Batman figure, but not too wacky for me. Number 46 is Beware the Batman from Batman the Riddler Chase in 2014. And this is based on the Beware the Batman show. It doesn't look that accurate, but that's mainly due to the weird animation style. Still, it's a cool, unique, one-off standard Batman figure that feels kind of random. I like the Bat logo, and it's nice to get one-off regular suits like this, but the gray hands don't look right. Number 45 is Light Gray Rebirth Batman from a bunch of sets in 2018 and 2019, and served as the main LEGO Batman figure for those years, and it seems to be based on the Rebirth comic suit. I like the design with the yellow outlining the logo, but I don't love the light gray. I usually prefer darker gray for Batman, and this is another figure that was kind of overused. Number 44 is Dollar Bill Tuxedo Batman from the Lego Batman movie minifigure collection in 2017. Like I said before, the Tux Batman figures aren't my favorites, but I love the design of this with all the dollar bills with printing even on the arms and sides of the legs. It's a cool Tux that would be great for other figures, but not the best for Batman. Number 43 is the Returns Display Batman from the Batcave Shadow Box in 2023. It has a similar problem to the newer 89 suit, being a worse version of a better figure with the new cowl piece I don't like as much. It's higher than the 89 figure though because I just like this suit more in general with the more armored design. Number 42 is Dark Knight Batman from the Bat vs. Bane Tumblr Chase in 2013. And they've done this suit other times and this is an okay version of it. But there have been better and worse figures of this suit, and this one just doesn't stand out much. Number 41 is Raging Batman from Batcave Break-In in 2017. I like the boxing design for this with the gloves and dual-molded legs for the shorts. It's another cool and fun unique design for a Batsuit. Number 40 is Glam Metal Batman from the Lego Batman Movie Collectible Minifigures Series 1 in 2017. I love the black and silver design with the shoulder pads and the bat logo over the eyes. It makes for a pretty awesome look and another neat idea. Number 39 is Lobster Lovin' Batman from the Lego Batman Movie Collectible Minifigures Series 1 in 2017. This is one of the more iconic Batman looks from the Lego Batman movie, and I love the design for the robes that works well outside of the Batman theme. Number 38 is Blue Suit Batman from the two sets in 2007, and it's my least favorite of the original four Batman suits, but that's because the blue suit in general just isn't my favorite look. This one is still a classic though, and a good figure with a bat logo that I don't like as much, but is still more unique. Number 37 is Batzaro from the Justice League vs. Bizarro League DVD in 2015, 
and I don't know much about this character, but from what I have read, it's some sort of distorted clone of Batman, and is an opposite to Batman, which shows in this design with the upside down bat logo. That, plus the purple suit, unique face print, and tattered cape makes for a nice figure with a design that I think works well. Number 36 is Battle Ready Batman from two LEGO Movie 2 sets in 2019. This suit is kinda awesome with the more rugged apocalyptic look with tires for shoulder pads, a tattered cape, and I like the scrap metal bat logo. And the Apocalypseburg version is slightly better, being more detailed with dual molded arms with printing and dual molded legs. Number 35 is Space Batman from the Bat Space Shuttle in 2018. I like this design for a space bat suit with the black and gold space helmet, and like I've said, I like bat suits that have a practical reason to exist, but I do think there has been a better space batman figure. Number 34 is Zebra Batman from Comic-Con 2019. It's another wacky idea that I don't care too much for, but it's still a neat figure and a good idea for an exclusive. And I do like all the zebra printing with some on the cowl and even a zebra cape. Number 33 is Tartan Batman from a book in 2017. This one doesn't really stand out much to me. It's kind of a random idea, but I like all the colors and details. And I think it's another pretty good exclusive figure for a book. Number 32 is Kiss Kiss Tuxedo Batman from a keychain in 2017. And this is the only Batman figure that's exclusive to a keychain, which is a shame because it's a nice design that would be nice to get as a regular figure. And it's probably my favorite of the Tuxedo Batman figures. Number 31 is the classic TV series Batman from the Batman classic TV series Batmobile in 2021. There was a previous version of this suit that I like a little more. This version is light gray and I think the printing doesn't work as well here, and it's not my favorite suit in general. The details are still good though, especially on the cowl. Number 30 is the classic TV series Batman from the Batman classic TV series Batcave in 2016. This is the sand blue version, and like I said, I think the printing just works a little better on this figure. But to me, both figures are good, and it was hard for me to choose between them. Number 29 is Begins Batman from the Batmobile Tumblr Scarecrow Showdown in 2021. I think this is the best figure of this suit. I like it more than the previous version because the printing details just look better, even though it's still pretty similar. Number 28 is the 1989 Batman from two sets in 2019 and 2020. The unique cowl and cape piece gets the look from the movie down pretty well, even with the weird bat logo. But it is a bit limiting in movement, which is also somewhat accurate. It moved down on the list recently for me because of the existence of the Returns version, which is a suit I like way more. Number 27 is Black Suit Batman from multiple sets in 2006. It's one of my favorite standard black suits for Batman because it's another classic and I like that this black suit is more black and gold rather than the usual yellow we see on most black bat suits. Number 26 is Dark Knight Batman from three sets in 2008. It's pretty similar to other figures based on the same suit, specifically the 2013 figure, but it's one of the better ones to me because I like the printing a little more and of course it's another classic, being the first minifigure of this suit. Number 25 is Electro Batman from the LEGO Batman Visual Dictionary in 2012. It's also in the LEGO Batman 2 video game which I love and it's another suit that has a purpose. It has some nice light blue printing with even some of the cowl and arms, but it feels a little incomplete because it doesn't have the backpack like in the game. Number 24 is Yellow Lantern Batman from the LEGO DC Super Heroes Visual Dictionary in 2018. This is based on the idea of Batman being in the Yellow Lantern Corps because the Yellow Lanterns are powered by fear, which is a neat idea that makes a lot of sense because Batman uses fear. The figure itself also looks pretty cool with the yellow eyes and details, and it's nice to get more lantern figures in general. Number 23 is BBS Batman from two sets in 2016. I'm not a big fan of this suit in the movie, but I like this figure, especially with the details on the torso and dual molded legs. But there has been a better figure of this suit since. Number 22 is Excalibur Batman from the Dimensions Excalibur Batman Fun Pack in 2017. This is another cool idea being a knight version of Batman with an armored look with shoulder pads and the silver color. It also comes with a nice sword. Number 21 is Firestarter Batman from the Bat Space Shuttle in 2018. The dark red color with the fire bat logo is just cool. And even though it's not exact, it reminds me of the heat protection suit from LEGO Batman the video game, which is a suit I always loved and this is the closest we have to that as an actual figure. Number 20 is Trunks Batman from Batman vs the Penguin and Harley Quinn accessory pack in 2021. I'm not a big fan of the trunks design in general, but I do think it's nice to get a regular bat suit with the trunks as a figure, and I think it works well here. It also looks like an updated version of the 2006 gray suit and reminds me of the suit from Arkham Asylum, both of which I love. Number 19 is Desert Batman from Batman Rescue from Ra's al Ghul in 2016. I love the desert look with the tan armor design. The black cowl and cape does feel a little off from the rest, but it's another suit that feels like it has a purpose. This one for a desert climate, which I always like. 
Number 18 is Scuba Batman for Batman the Penguin Face-Off in 2014. It's yet another practical bat suit, and I love the dark blue design with all the scuba gear like flippers, oxygen tank, and a cool face print to complete the look. Number 17 is Gas Mask Batman from Batman Scarecrow Harvest of Fear in 2016, one of my favorite DC sets of all time. I like all of the green details with even green eyes, and the actual gas mask piece is a nice addition that works well. Number 16 is Arctic Batman from Arctic Batman vs. Mr. Freeze, Aquaman on Ice in 2013. The all-white look is pretty striking for a Batman suit, which I like, and again, it's another practical suit. This one for cold weather. Plus, it was also in LEGO Batman 3, so that's cool. Number 15 is Pirate Batman from the DC Superheroes Character Encyclopedia in 2016. The pirate theme is another neat idea for a Batman figure, and this design works well with the straps and blue color. Number 14 is Tactical Batman from Flying Fox Batmobile Airlift Attack in 2017 based on the Justice League movie. I like the tactical armor look of this, and it's just a good, very detailed figure. Number 13 is Grey Suit Batman from three sets in 2006. And this is just the most classic Batman figure to me, and my favorite of the original Batman figures, with it being used in the original LEGO Batman video game, and Forest Fire 101 Stop Motions, both of which I love. The design itself is pretty simple, but I like grey bat suits more in general, and I love that bat logo. Number 12 is Dark Grey Rebirth Batman from a bunch of sets in 2019 and 2020. It's another main LEGO Batman suit and seems to be another version of the Rebirth suit. I like it way more than the light grey version because I like the torso design more, and I like the darker grey color more. Number 11 is The Batman from three sets in 2022. This is one of my favorite live action bat suits based on what might be my favorite Batman movie. I love the grey armor design and all of the printing details. It's not perfect though, it could have used a new cowl piece to be more accurate, and dual molded legs would have been nice. Number 10 is Heavy Armor Batman from Batman The Attack of the Talons in 2018. This is another cool armored suit that's based on a suit from the comics, and is a bit more unique with the red eyes and closed mouth, with even some nice printing underneath the armor piece and a damaged version for the alternate face print. Number 9 is Space Batman from Green Lantern vs. Sinestro in 2015. I like this Space Batman more than the LEGO Batman movie version because I like the white and silver color scheme more with the gold eyes and neat thin plastic wings on the back with a jetpack. It also appeared in LEGO Batman 3, which is a plus. Number 8 is Nightmare Batman from the Nightmare Batman accessory set in 2018. It's based on a scene from Batman v Superman and is another very detailed figure with the cool trench coat design, dual molded legs, and even goggles printed on the cowl. Number 7 is First Appearance Batman from the DC Superheroes Collectible Minifigure Series in 2020. It's a great suit to get in LEGO form, being the first ever Batman suit that feels like a must-have for fans of LEGO and Batman. It's a more simple design, but more unique with that bat logo, the purple gloves, and that cowl piece that's only ever been used for this figure. Number 6 is BBS Armored Batman from Clash of Heroes in 2016. It's yet another awesome armor design, and I think the armor piece with the cape works well, with more detailed printing underneath, and a nice glow-in-the-dark head to make the eyes glow. Number 5 is Justice League Batman from Nightcrawler Tunnel Attack in 2017. Like I said before, I don't love the actual suit, but this figure looks so good with the detailed printing. I like it more than the BVS version because this one has leg printing and stubble printing on the head. It's just missing the dual-molded legs that one had to make this perfect. Number 4 is Baturian from the LEGO Batman Movie Minifigure Collection in 2017. This is my favorite of the outlandish LEGO Batman movie designs. I like the detailed Roman style with that awesome helmet, even though it doesn't feel much like Batman. Number 3 is Dark Knight Batman from the Batmobile Tumblr in 2021. Like you've seen, they've made different figures of this suit so many times, and this is by far the best. It's one of the most detailed regular Batman figures and finally got the design right with it being mostly black with the detailing. Number 2 is Arkham Knight Batman from the app-controlled Batmobile in 2018. Now this isn't officially based on Arkham Knight, but it obviously takes inspiration from that, and that's why I love this figure. I love the Arkham games with it being my favorite version of Batman, and I love this suit that it's based on. It isn't number one though, because while it's another great detailed figure, I don't like the silver color as much. I feel like it looked more gray in the game, and would have looked better like that to me. And number one is Returns Batman from a couple sets in 2023. It's another one of my favorite live action bat suits with a more armored look that I like more than the 89 suit. It has that same solid cowl and cape piece that still works, and it was another great suit to get in LEGO form. So that was my ranking of every LEGO Batman minifigure. There was a lot to go through, and most of them weren't that bad. It'll be interesting to see what else they could do with Batman. 
since it seems like they don't want to do anything else with LEGO DC. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye.